Hello there, my name's Sophie Mado, and here are five things you can do with fireworks in 1.4.6. So, first up, we've got the nightclub with coloured lights that I've shown in a video before. I'll link to that video in the description, so you can go and look at that, and it'll be nice. So we've got our music box there, you can put whatever music you want, although Minecraft doesn't really have brave music, that you turn on the master switch, and just hit that, and then, soon enough, fireworks will start firing, creating coloured lights that change, and you can customise, and it's very nice. The timing is still not quite right, so the colours do clash a bit. I did edit it since the video I did before, um, and I also added a little bit of light. But how this works is there's four dispensers down here. It goes in a loop around each one, red, green. You get the idea. It's just a fence so you don't fall in. We can just see the circuit down here. It just goes around, it's a simple loop. And this is where the master switch goes, and it needs this to carry on, so if we just pull the master switch, it'll stop. The fireworks don't really intrude on like noise level that much, so it's alright. It should stop any second now, yeah. So it has to go like one more cycle. But that's good. Next up, archery. Archery before was a pain. You had to have redstone going everywhere with lights and stuff. Now, all I've done here is I've got a ton of buttons and put them on a target. I've also got a little key which shows you what equals what amount of points. Now behind this target, we've got tons of dispensers. Now each of these dispensers have a firework which has duration 1. This one has creeper shape because it's the middle one, but all the other ones are just large balls. Um, no, small balls, sorry. But they are different colours and they have trail and trim trail and twinkle on. I can't say that fast. Try saying that fast. Trail and twinkle. Whatever. So I've got a bow. We have an arrow. And then all you have to do is shoot. Eh. And that will fire up one. And that was red. So for that I get one point. I could aim lower. Uh, missed. Of course, you don't actually have to hit the button, I'll show you that in a second. That one was yellow, three points. So we got four points from three shots. It's not bad. Now, these have all hit the buttons. Well, these two anyway. So we'll just take them. You don't actually have to hit the button, I don't think. Yeah, see look. That's still fired, and I hit there. I mean, that's nowhere near the button, but it still hit it. Now, I don't know if that's a bug, but... It works, so that's fine. Okay, next thing. Press that, and then we have fireworks flying out. Because fireworks get stopped by blocks, and then the particles are affected by the blocks as well. So I've got half slabs, there's a dispenser under there. Can't actually reach it, but you have to take my word for it. There's just a bunch of half slabs, which break break all of them actually. There you go, dispenser with some fireworks in it. And that will just let it go a bit more, see? It just spits out a little bit more. There we go. So you can fire that up. Very nice. Now, that's not that useful, but here I've made some showers with it. So this one's got blue in it. There we go, it fires up. And then it all comes down. Let me see if I can get that properly. There we go, lovely. Let's look at that again. There we go, lovely. It does spit out a bit, but that's fine. This one I've got a painting, so you can't actually access the dispenser. There we go, still fires out. Yay, I feel clean and refreshed. And that's really simple. All there is is a tiny bit of redstone going up to do a dispenser at the top, which is very, very simple. And that was uh, three things. I count that thing as one thing. Um, we're going to go to this one first, because that one, I um, don't want to give that away yet. It's pretty obvious. This is a puzzle that you might have in like a puzzle map or something. Fireworks can trigger pressure plates. So what I've got up here, this simply when it hits the pressure plate, it'll just trigger a loop that will keep it locked. And all of the lights should turn on. So all I have to do, I've got a fire up rocket here with duration 3. I'll just fire that up. And it missed for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. That one hit the pressure plate. And as you can see, it's all lit up and lovely. Now, the interesting thing about this 
is because of flight duration on fireworks, what you could do, you could have a task where I'm just searching too many items for a firework rocket to demonstrate this. We actually have to collect like pieces of gunpowder to make the flight duration more. Because if you see that, that won't reach the pressure plate. There we go. Not reaching it at all. Now, obviously the downside to this one is it's a bit inaccurate, but it works most of the time. Yeah, there we go. Like if you have it like flight duration four it'll usually work. Now the reason we did that one before this one is this takes that and it uses it here. So what we've got here are two dispensers facing each other, each with fireworks in it, just regular firework rockets. Now since the fireworks will, um, this dispenser will put the other, will put the firework here in this dispenser and it'll fire it up. So actually that's pretty cool. Fire if something's in a dispenser and it's facing our dispenser, it should put it into that dispenser. Whatever. I'm not making any sense what I am, but I'm not getting to the point. So it'll put the firework there, and then the firework will fly up, hitting this pressure plate as it does so. And that'll trigger this one to fire one here. And that'll hit that one. That pressure plate, and it'll trigger that dispenser to fire one there. So what you've got is a little thing that repeats itself. So that only did two. Hmm. So apparently this only seems to do two. But I don't know, I was messing around with this earlier. Let's just get that. There we go. See, look, there we go. See, that's a bit different, that one. I don't know how that one works, but hey, I'm not complaining. It seems to be where the button is, I don't know. Let's get rid of that redstone. So that seems to do one passing. It seems to be very much about the redstone, so I don't know. You can work that one out for yourself. But I've been Hoppy Maddo. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more like mechanic-related goodness, and see what you can do with snapshots as they come up. So, thanks for watching. Please give a like and subscribe. Bye! Thank you.